Well, I did it again. And I guess technically this fits in to two of the collections that I have, kind of. Um, and this right here is another Daddy Barlow. And it's another one of these uh, Remington knives that I believe Camillus made. Uh, this is pretty much exactly the same as my other Remington Daddy Barlow. Except for the cover materials. Which is described as jigged bone. And as far as I can tell it is in fact bone. So I'm happy about that because that's my favorite cover material. I can't get the camera to focus on the bone here. That's annoying. Um, but anyway, jig bone, there we go. Now it's focused in on it. The jig bone looks pretty good. The jigging looks interesting. Uh, it's kind of like a I don't know, a non-traditional type of jigging. My camera just got darker for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd do a quick little video on my latest Daddy Barlow. And I guess I kind of have a Remington knife collection going at this point as well. Um, although I'm really not that invested in it. I would like to have one other Remington bullet knife that I know is out there. Um, I haven't seen it on eBay for a price I'm willing to pay for a while. So I don't know if I'm going to get one of those anytime soon. But probably eventually I'll end up getting one of those. And that's like, uh, I don't remember what they call it, but it was the bullet knife for 1999. The one thing that I will say is that the action on this knife seems to be a little bit better than the action on my other musket one with the sawcut Delrin. Um, of course, this knife and pretty much every Daddy Barlow that I've ever gotten um, has some gaps here. You're not going to be able to see them because of my uh, light in my room here. Um, because I don't have enough natural light because it's the afternoon. Um, but there are gaps between the back spring and liners. Uh, that's just something to kind of expect with more of these uh, affordable knives and everything, you know. Um, of course, Case, it seems like Case can't make a knife without gaps. Um, even though I have that one Barlow, it doesn't have any gaps. Um, but I think, I think with these big knives like this, the Daddy Barlows and stuff, I think it's kind of hard to make it have no gaps between the back springs and liners because you have your pivot pin here, and then way down here is your uh, spring that the back spring pivots on or moves on. Um, and that's a pretty big distance. So I would think that it would be pretty hard to get this to the point where it's completely flush. Um, but yeah. I mean, I would love to see Great Eastern Cutlery make one of these at some point, just to see if they could make one without any gaps, and to see how uh, amazing it would be. Unfortunately, I missed out on the uh, Shatton Morgan Daddy Barlows that TraditionalPocketKnives.com had, because I kept waiting, and I guess I shouldn't have done that. I should have just bought it. Uh, but that wasn't really a traditional Daddy Barlow. Like, traditionally, to me... A Daddy Barlow is a single blade clip point blade. Uh, the Shat Morgan was a two blade and the main blade was a spear point and then the secondary blade was like a little... It kind of looked like a clip blade, but it's just like a little pen blade. Um, it was pretty cool. I should have probably have ordered one while I could, uh, but I missed out. So maybe I'll find one on, on eBay one of these days for a reasonable price. Uh, if not, I'm not going to worry about it. I have quite a few Daddy Barlows at this point, and I don't really need to keep looking for them. Although, at this point, I'm probably going to, because I have quite the collection going. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, real quick, at the beginning 
of this week or the end of last week? It's today. Okay, the beginning of this week, we or my channel hit 300 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, I didn't really have any plans of ever getting that big. Um, I don't know how much further this is going to go. Uh, but, you know, I just make these videos because I enjoy knives and you guys seem to enjoy the videos so just keep making them um but thank all of you but i want to thank all of you for uh subscribing you know 300 subscribers is pretty cool all right that's going to be it for this video on this awesome remington musket one daddy barlow with the uh jig bone covers Possibly my new favorite, Daddy Barlow. Alright, have a good day, guys.